Good evening, everybody. Uh, anybody that wants to ask a question can do that by raising her hand. Uh, and we can give it, uh, give you the, uh, the opportunity to ask the question. The first question is Liam. Thanks, guys. Um, Stephen, what's your um, feelings about that game? Was it a kind of game of two halves for you guys? Do you feel? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, I think. We started off kind of similar to the Austria game. We maybe didn't get going. Um, we've now played here often enough that we know what Israel is all about, and they imposed themselves in the game. Frustrating to go behind. Um, again, that's now the, the third time in a row. But what um, commitment and application, and to come back into it again. We need to stop giving teams an advantage. But um, I thought certainly second half was was a very good performance against a a very good Israel side. Um, as I said, I played them now three times and the, the way they move the ball is very good. And um, I don't know how they are, where they are in the world rankings. Um, they're a very, very good side with some very good players. And um, But so are we. So disappointing with the draw, but um, certainly after the first half, a very positive second half display. Uh, we have Uri. It's hi. Um... Great game. Actually, question for the media officer. Uh, I'm trying to understand uh, what was the meaning of uh, the 22nd uh, silence against what exactly? Because us journalists and media here in Israel, we didn't have nothing about it before the match. So if you can, and I heard it's uh, something that came from the Scotland camp. I would like to understand what, what it was all about. If yeah, you can, it was, please. It was for, I, I'm not sure if you're aware in, in Israel, but there's been a highlight of issues um, regarding racism. Uh, and in, in Britain, again, I'm not sure if you are doing that um, here, but we've been taking an E before games to try and raise, to kind of raise awareness and, and, and hope people to have a conversation because there's lots of issues in society today. And um, we kind of felt it was losing some traction. Uh, because mm -hmm. there were some some incidents, and um, there's certainly a very public one with Glenn Kamara. And I'm not sure yeah. of uh, Rangers, and um, we kind of just felt across most of the teams in Scotland are fed up. Is the wrong word because I think there's a lot of good things about taking an E, but we wanted to kind of raise awareness again, and that was why instead of normally we would go down on one knee, and um, we we stood before the game, and and it's just to hopefully try and raise awareness again of a of a of a, a very serious issue in society. And then um, we can't allow it to creep back in more often than uh, it should. It's very hard to educate people that don't want to be educated, but we will keep trying as um, a nation to keep and, and a people to keep um, looking for equal rights across society. Liam, please. does this feel, Stephen, like a missed opportunity to, to get the first victory? Um, I think you always look to, to win your games. I think only come the end of the tournament or the, the campaign can you can you really see if it was a missed opportunity. Um, I certainly think being undefeated in the first two games is a, is a positive start. Um, we knew from the get-go that this was going to be a tight group. There's um, very, not much between a lot of the teams and we need to make sure we don't slip up badly. Um, going down again, it, it could have happened, but we, we came together and got the draw. Um, and hopefully, got a very tough game coming at Hamden. Um, off the back of a, a difficult journey um, to hopefully get the three points. And, and then if we're sitting with five points at the end of the, the camp, it's, there's a lot more maybe positivity around the, the media. But it's a, a a positive start, but maybe we'd, we'd have obviously liked to be in a maybe better position. But it's certainly going to be a very tight group. And if anybody thought this wasn't going to go to the wire, then it certainly is. Stephen, Steve Clark said um, after the Austria match that the, the players lacked belief um, in the first half. The kind of slow start repeated itself here again. Is that what you're putting it down to? What do you put it down to? Um, I think a bit of belief again. We've, we've, we've played Israel now a lot of times and, and they're a very good side. They play very good football and they make you work and they make you, they, they put you in positions you don't want to be in. They move the ball very well. Solomon, uh, Zahavi, very, very good technical players. And, and, and they, they ask questions. And um, as I said, to, to travel over to Israel and, and come away with a point is, it, it could be a very, very crucial point. We'll only know that come the end of the campaign. But 
Um, I think belief is growing. Um, remember, it's been a, a long, long time since Scotland had a lot of success. Um, but small steps, we made a big step in, in November. Um, we need to keep trying to build on that. And um, as I said, undefeated in the first two games isn't the worst start. And hopefully we can build on that on Wednesday night. Stephen, how vital was that change of shape at half time? Um, look, I, I think it allowed us maybe to, from a tactical perspective, to to maybe impose ourselves a wee bit more and and start moving the ball about. Um, disappointing because I think when you you pick the the team to go out and play, I think we could still have done a lot better from the the, the back three or the back five. But certainly when we went to the four, we we moved it about. Um, but that, that's now the second game that we've changed shape. Are we tweak from what we've started and and it shows you the 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 tactical oust, if that's the right word, for from the manager. But um, we, we should, as I said, players not be needing to change shape every time we're, we're having a slow start. We should be able to, to adapt to that in the game ourselves and, and really get, get a foothold in it. But as I said, that's what um, the manager is able to bring and, and thankfully um, pay dividends in the second half. Stephen, how important is it to have a good Any more questions, guys? How, how impressed were you by Shea Adams, Stephen? Very good. Um, I think it's obviously he's just new to the group, but in the in the few training sessions we've been able to get with him, um, you can see the the quality he possesses. Um, like everyone in their debut, new group of players, um, he probably hasn't met ninety five percent is probably um, un until this week. So he's uh, fitted in well. Um, you can see glimpses of him tonight, and um, I'm sure the more caps he gets, um, the better he'll become. He's um, a young, a young player, obviously plays at a top level, and and we're, we're lucky to have him. Any more questions, anybody? Can I take questions from the Israeli journalists on the floor, please? Hi, Stephen. Hello. How did it feel to play in front of fans? <laughs> it was a. Uh, very nice. Maybe not the booze. <laughs> they weren't uh, obviously not supporting ourselves, but I thought they, they they gave a very good account of themselves. It was nice to hear some 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 noise coming from the terraces. Don't speak the language, so if they were saying I was rubbish, I, I missed it. <laughs> but um, but no, very nice to see fans back in. I hope that um, that we all have the same luxury come come the not too distant future. But obviously the government controls that. I think Israel's obviously got a very strong foothold on the. The virus and hopefully we can follow suit. Thank you so much. No problem. Take care. Thank you.